Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we are going to be discussing one of the cutest little balls of fur that you can possibly get inside the game Arc Survival Evolved. That's right, we're talking about this little dude on my shoulder. No, they don't normally come in green. This guy right here, he, I uh, spent a long time mutating this guy to get that little green backstripe. But, ah, these guys, they are... When I say they are the one of the cutest guys ever, I, that's exactly it. These guys are one of the cutest guys ever. Plus, not only are they cute, not only do they have the power of cute, these guys also have some pretty cool special abilities. We're going to be discussing those today. Now, the very first one that they're going to be um, that these guys have is they actually give you a really cool hypothermal insulation and hyperthermal insulation buff when you're carrying them because um, they work a lot like a Dimetrodon. Yeah, here, let me show you. All right, let's throw it out like that. Now, when they're not around us, um, we actually only have a 399 hypothermal insulation and a 346 um, oh, hyperthermal insulation, and that is offset by our fortitude. This character right here, he's got a really high fortitude. I like having high fortitude. I like being able to go wherever I want to go in whatever suit of armor I have, except in, uh, like, Ark Ragnarok, their, uh, um, oh, the murder snow. I could not go up there like this. But if I take and I put Frank on my shoulder, see how far this goes. 576 and it's gonna go up just a little bit more as it uh, kind of normalizes now I, we get a really really high buff now this right here um the uh oh the buff that they give is determined by their melee damage stat yeah um and the uh hypo the hypothermal insulation is about 70 to 80 percent of their melee damage stat it's uh directly kind of thrown onto there um, it's a uh, mathematical equation based on their melee stat as it um, gets transferred over to the hyperthermal or the hypothermal. But when it comes down to the hyperthermal, um, it's it's not as much. So they actually provide more insulation against the cold weather than they do against the hot weather. But just carrying a uh, otter on your shoulders that's been leveled up and the high level guy that's just chilling out up there, he's actually giving you a huge bonus. But one of the only downsides of having this guy up there is they're on they only eat fish. That's it. They only eat fish. But if they couldn't get any cuter, there's also a really cool thing that you can put on them. You can put a flak helmet on them or any other kind of helmet. And then on top of the flak helmet, you can take and you can stick the little pirate, the little captain's hat. So where these guys are just the absolute biggest balls of cute you could possibly get. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, now how do you get one of these guys in your life? Well, we're gonna go find that out. Now, if you have access to an Ichthyornis or a Taming Buddy, as I like to call them, I would recommend you use them because it is kind of important. Oh, hold on, this guy's got a level. It's kind of important that these guys... That you have a taming buddy with you. If not, you can do it. It just makes it a little bit harder. Now, what we're going to do... Hold on, let me grab a dino because I just saw some raptors down below. Um, um, we're going to grab uh, probably a thylacolio or something. There you are, Oreo. We're going to grab you and then we're going to go uh, take you out. And we're going to go otter shopping. So now, how do we go otter shopping? Well, uh, well, first off, you have to find the otter. Now, finding the otter, it's its not the easiest thing. Um, finding otters sometimes can be quite difficult. you The only place you will ever find them is on the rivers. In uh, whichever map you're playing on. On uh, Ragnarok, on the island, on uh, Extinction, on uh, Aberration. The only places they will ever be is inside the rivers. Let's go see if we can find one in here. Fish. No otter. All right. So, hey, let's go see if we can find one over here. I will bring you guys back. I'm going to be looking for one. It doesn't really matter what level we find. 
because yeah all right so hey i'll bring you guys back when i see one and i'll uh yeah see you guys in a minute all right so i found one it's over here i actually found two of them there's a second one swimming around here somewhere i'm not sure where it went these guys they're actually really quick so if you don't watch it they will uh yeah they'll run off on you so now if you do have access to an ichthyornis i would recommend that you use it Seriously? There you go. All right. Use it to catch your salmon. Now, if you uh, send it out against, uh, um, say, a salmon or a regular fish or even a dodo, it'll actually turn it green and I mean, you turn it gold. And then you all you do is drag it. This is how you tame these guys is you drag it. You figure out there's the otter. It's way over there. Now, you grab it once it's golden and then you take it over to the otter and then you kind of passive feed it. Now this can actually be kind of difficult um, because the otter, it's not gonna stop moving. These guys, there we go. There we go, all right, so we got that. Um, they're not gonna stop moving at all for you ever. These guys, they're really difficult um, when uh, it gets down to it, so let's see. Get that guy. There we go. That time he really, uh... Aw, oh, Trudon's over there? Seriously? Right here, bring me the fish, buddy. Come on. This is why I call them Taming Buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, bud. I don't want to deal with that Trudon over there. Are you going to drop the fish for me? And then we have to go find the otter. Pick you back up. Grab that. There's the otter. Still over there. Now... I saw a second one. I'm not sure what it is. But um, the golden uh, um, fish that the Ectiornis provides. There we go. So super simple. Just like that. All right. Now, the golden fish that the Ectiornis provides um, gives them... It, it's kind of like their kibble. Um, but if... Uh, especially with salmon. The bigger the salmon, the better. Um, the taming effectiveness. But if you have don't have access to an ichthyornis then you can still use uh just regular fish so you can come out here and you can shoot a salmon in the face and you can use that yeah um but uh or you could use a regular uh coal or something like that or even a dead piranha would work as well but like i said i would recommend that you just use you're actually a really cool looking otter i would recommend that you use the ichthyornis to tame them all right now let's get back over to where i left uh my thylacolio passed all these guys way over here. Oh, there's my raft. There we go. All right, so hey, let's get back to base and then actually let's come back over here and then let's, uh, you know what, let's just throw this guy down because I want to show you guys one of the better parts of what these guys can do. So let's just pick you up. And then let's pick you up. Now what these guys, they um, actually have kind of a special ability just like the uh, Ichthyornis, but they won't turn things gold. What they do though, is if you have them go out and you have them uh, attack some of these fish, just like you would the Ichthyornis, you uh, double click F and then you send them out. They will attack the fish, just like this. Send them against that coal right there. Actually, it's too far away, let's see. You close enough? You gonna go gank him? There he goes. All right, they're gonna go out. He's gonna attack this fish. Now, he doesn't do a ton of damage. Now, that's kind of the downside, but he's gonna harvest him, and then once he harvests him, he's gonna follow us over to a spot on the land, whatever spot we pick on the land, and then he's going to uh, deliver. I see you. He's gonna <laughs> deliver all his stuff right here to us. And just like that, and then he's going to give us this little, uh, um, 
fit. Now here, let me show you. Now he's gonna have, on his inventory, he's gonna have some silica pearls. It's kinda cool. Now, uh, um, he can actually get uh, black pearls this way, which is pretty cool. It's kind of a rare chance, but they can get black pearls. Um, I would recommend, you know, they're not really that reliable of a source of black pearls, but if a pinch, if in a pinch you need just a few black pearls, you can totally get some this way. It takes a little while, but it's pretty cool. Now he's here, he's gonna go out and he's gonna gank that fish. And then he's going to uh, bring us back some stuff. But the only problem is against salmon, because salmon fight back. You gonna get that guy, buddy? Need some help? Alright, get him. You got him cornered, man. There you go. Harvest him up and bring him to us. Yeah, you gonna come back, buddy? Yeah, here you go. There he goes. Yeah, it's one of the cutest things ever. Now he's got two silica pearls, plus he also gets some fish. It's wicked cool. All right, so hey, um, I think that covers just about everything there is with the otter. I mean, uh, I, hopefully I covered everything. I'm pretty sure I am, or I'm pretty sure I did. And, I mean, seriously, these guys, you just can't get cuter than an otter. It's amazing. All right, so hey, um, if you liked the um, video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flager Foo and the new otter. And take it easy, everybody.